I'm not going to show you the whole process because I've already made two different batches. I'm on a third, but I'm slowly perfecting how to make excellent pizza in the large six quart double dutch oven. All right, here we go. Take a look. Okay. Now, I've, obviously, I've already made the dough. Like I said, this is my third cook. The first one, the, the crust was way too thick. I mean, it was like four inches thick. It rose, it was delicious, but way too thick. The second one was too thin. I think this one's gonna be too thin. But basically, I made some dough and I found some real mozzarella at Prince. So we got real mozzarella cheese. And the sauce is just a, uh, a pouch of tomato sauce and one can of tomato paste with some spices like basil, oregano, all the good stuff to spice it up. And the pan is greased with olive oil, plenty of olive oil in there. Look, this is how this thing is supposed to work. You put the coals on top. I don't like this because the coals roll off the side. You gotta be careful with it. And I tell you, I don't baby my cast iron. So what I do, and it works great, flip it like this. I just put the coals up here to make the oven. I put a little bit of coals here on the bottom and it's just a rotational, like a, like a lich on bad boy. Just every minute, I rotate this and I rotate this and it keeps from uh, getting hot spots and I have not burnt, not going bamboo. I did not burn the first two iterations of this. So this was sort of a snap cook, but the reason being is because I had one last bit of ingredients left so I got grandma down here starting up the charcoal why because we don't have an oven and so she's gonna get the charcoal going get this thing breathing some fire and then I'm gonna make the third pizza and again you know everything's a little everything is trial and error and cooking right even when you get a new piece of gear the six quart is going to cook different than the 3.2 quart. I, I just thought I'd show you this. I'll do a full cooking show on, on how we do it. But if you had seen the first pizza, I'm talking the crust was that thick. It was absolutely delicious. It, it was just too much. Now this has been in the, that crust has been in the refrigerator for like, what's this, third day now. Uh, See, so it may not ri rise as high, but we'll see. So yes. You can cook pizza in a double dutch oven. I just use a little grill. I mean, you can set the coals on the ground, just set them around it if you want. But I just use this little grill and that's my oven. So I wanna thank you for joining me. And again, it might seem exciting, but you know, we have a couple of local pizza places here that's local pizza. It's not Paisano's or Pizza Hut, nothing like that. So I said, you know what? Like I've said before, the biggest challenge living in the province, your Filipino wife's province, is the food, the foreign guy food. Okay, it's just not here. So what do you got? What do you got to do? You got to drive a ways, or you cook it yourself. The babies love pizza. We would eat pizza once, you know, once a week in Angeles City. Get Pazanos. I said, you know what? I got to correct this problem. I got to cook it myself. Get the ingredients in, in here and do it myself. And so far. I'm telling you, the taste is delicious, minus the pepperonis. But hey, all I got to do is go in there and grill some chicken, put chicken on top. Pineapples, yeah, I can get some pineapples. Uh, anyhow, making do with what we got. I'll show you the, the process here in just a minute, but I'm waiting on Grandma, Grandma to get that dragon going. She's an expert fire starter. She cooks every meal with fire. Well, she did. Now I gave her a gas burner, but... She's an expert at starting fires, so I let her do it. Look at that. Brianne, did you steal some of my dough? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's not play dough. I'm sorry to steal some. It's okay. You want me to cook that little piece of dough? But I want a small little to kitchen. All right, well, just don't eat that, okay? <laughs> yes, I want a little tiny Kitchen. You want me to make a small pizza? Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right, well, flatten it out, make it a pizza, and I'll put it on top, and we'll cook it. This darn thing's starting to rise out here in this, this heat. <laughs> I didn't get a shot of that, but basically, 
fill the whole thing up on top yeah it's hot and then put some coals down here and then i'll just turn this thing it's just a uh, like doing a leech on bell boy just keep turning it every so often so there's no hot spots i'll turn this like this and then i'll turn the whole thing like that and just keep turning it and then we'll burn it all spin it it's gonna burn at 10 minutes we check it oh lord look at that pizza oh delicious delicious we're cooking with grease outstanding so the magic number on the first two cooks is 28 minutes the thick crust 28 minutes were perfect the second one I didn't put in a fire but still I, I think 28 minutes now that's only 10 minutes. We'll check it at 20. Yeah, Grandma's over here working on these beans. Look at this beans she's made. But the problem is, got a lot of worms eating, eating the leaves. So she's in here manually trying to check for any worms. She's put some type of fertilizer on it, homemade fertilizer. And she is tending to these beans, folks. Already got beans on here. You can make some soup out of that, baby. Nice little Filipino snack for you. Good job, Fatima. Little garden here around the hacienda, folks. Take care of this bean field, the bean patch. I right, check the time. I check it at 10 minutes. I check it at 20 minutes. That way you're not constantly taking the heat off. 19. and how many seconds? 19. Yep. Good job, Spider-Man. But I like to put my charcoal here, baby. Because you look so beautiful when you clean it up. <laughs> Good job, baby. 20 minutes. Let's check it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I think eight more minutes. Look at that cheese go. My goodness. Eight more minutes, and then you get to eat my pizza. <laughs> Honey, how did the pizza taste? Be honest. It's delicious, yeah. Good job, uh, Fadima. Where are my children? Swimming pool. Swimming pool? Oh, no, folks. Baby's in the swimming pool. Papa's baby's in the swimming pool. Whoa, don't squirt Papa! <laughs> My goodness! <laughs> I splash you with this splatter! Whoa, Forrest J! Whoa! <laughs> Good job! Wait, I'm like, when we pull the horse, hey, he babies, flat. they love the swimming pool. Back to my cup of cooking operation. This pizza is perfect. I'm on a downhill slope. All right, let's check it at 25 since it's thin crust. Come on over here, baby. Be the beautiful camera lady. Get us an angle on the dangle about right there. About right there, baby girl. 25 minutes, folks. Three more minutes. Yep, I see. Huh? Three more minutes. All right, folks, we went 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at it, baby. The cheese and everything looks good. Maybe a little bit more on the dough, but I don't want to burn the cheese. I'll tell you what, two minutes and that's it. 33 minutes. 
I'm calling it. There you go. There's your pie right there. We have a large six quart double dutch oven. I think it looks pretty good. Bad boy back up there. All right. You're so fast. My gosh. There you go. The lighting ain't as good as in here, but we just let that thing cool down. There you go. But the man, how did it taste though? The first two pizzas, how did they taste, baby? Tastes good. Pretty good, huh? Nah, 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 nah. Let that thing cool. Stop messing with it. I know you're always messing with my food when it needs to rest. It's not plated yet. Welding gloves, cooking with cast iron. Mm, get this little pizza spoon. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Just if you put a little bit of olive oil in there, it don't stick at all. The only thing that stuck was uh, my cheese ran over right there. But if you just put a little olive oil, the thing come right out of there, no problem. Just let it cool a little bit. I'm gonna plate it and cut it up for you folks. A whole single dad bringing down the pizza. Oh, single dad, baby girl. Oh, single dad. So I'm a single mom. That's right, you're a single mom. Oh, single mom. Oh, single mom. Look at that pie. Take a look underneath there. Not burnt at all. I mean, look at that. That is like, wow. Look at that pie. Like I said, the only thing in here is, that just stuck just a little is the cheese. My bad. I, I ran some cheese and some sauce over. No big deal. Should have come right out of there. Little, little coutramon there. Look at that pizza pie. Ah! I have made pizza! Wow! Look at that pizza, sweetie girl! I want to eat some. You want to eat some? Grandma, look at that pizza! Hey, yummy! Yeah, yummy! yummy. Alright, I just gotta cut it up, folks. I'm gonna chop her up with the... Chop her up with the Gerber strong arm here. Pizzeria, 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 pizza, hot, hot pie coming through. Pizzeria, 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 pizza. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that little pizza right there, folks. Some kind of delicious. All right, y'all, tell me how the pizza is. Look at that. Look at that right there. How is it? Mmm. 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 Wow.
Not bad. Go, Butteroo. Come on over here and get some pizza, man. Get my piece of pizza here, Mo. He don't wait. He don't mess around. That boy likes to go to work. Give me a small one there. Here. Here. That's a forest G-size piece here, man. Come on. Get a bite. Yeah. <laughs> 